Good day. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Morning, Arthur. As good as it's gonna be. Morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. How are you? You settling back in? Hi.
Learn all about our great religion and understand the importance of safety in nature. According to the great teachings of our master, this land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia, the one true American's religion, the one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago, this year, to our prophet from above. Morning. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. Please. This kind of closeness cannot happen overnight. Go home, my friend. Think about what you've learned. Grow. Hear the truth and rejoice, for you are saved and already in paradise. If only you had the wisdom to understand it. Chelonia, America, they are the same thing. If savages could prosper here, how much better shall the white man do in this sacred place? No more kings. We are all kings. Oh. Oh, Allah. What the hell? This? Oh, I've been covered in oh. worse, friend. Just had to be me. Pleased to see you. Stare that feller down. Brought enough trouble. Around Clear this here. right up for you. Thanks, Mister. Come on, folks. Who needs a ride? Had 
That's it then, I guess. Glad to see you back, sir. Let me know if I can help you choosing something. All those men at the cemetery, I hope it was not with guns that I sold. Straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. Uh, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh. The filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. 
Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. I'm gonna say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either 
Waiting for a woman of dubious morals who's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was a mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Yep. Father. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not.
Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor Are you of in the a rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire! Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love, Paul. San Johnny. Saloon, the 
rich and poor and the bourgeoisie, there's a heading down to San Denis. Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah! Stop it. Oh, look. away from the curtain.
enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! <laughs> Incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? 
can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. How's that horse doing? We've got room in the stable if you need it. Bye for now. You and that horse are always welcome. I need medicine. What happened to you? Here. Okay. Okay. Oh, you just tried that plan over there. And it was like a gunshot. Oh. Ahead, Let's keep hmm. to ourselves here. Number one with the pink flowers. Tiny yeah, little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way.
Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. For cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Careful, Strauss. Damn it! Ah, well, I'll stay there, boy. Come on, boy. a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. 
It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. I'll cut your dick. Damn you. I'll cut your damn head. Clean off. Oh, what you done? What you done? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. This some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky? I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> 